Here is another picture of a colon with a tumor. Notice in the area out here, you can see sort of a normal wrinkly mucosal pattern. Notice throughout here, it looks like a normal wrinkly mucosal pattern. But notice that this whole thing here uh, is the tumor. And also notice that it doesn't have a polypoid appearance, you know, like a berries on a tree. It has more of a shaggy or sessile pattern of growth, like it's growing like a clump of bushes that doesn't really have a stalk on it. This is a villus adenoma, and those are all the classical features of a villus adenoma. Microscopically, villi within uh, colon tumors as, a pair, as compared to tubules imply a faster rate of growth. Uh, notice, uh, perhaps you might want to use the word papilla here rather than villus. That would be okay because they're basically both structures that have epithelial surfaces and a thin fibrovascular stalk in the middle. But notice how this colon tumor does not form so much little tubules like you can see in the adenomatous polyps, but it has these little linear papillary projections or villi. Uh, villus adenomas uh, have a, even a much, much higher association with malignancy than tubular adenomas or adenomatous polyps do. And that's related to the fact that for some reason, whenever um, colon tumors grow in a villus uh, feature, it's associated with a faster growth rate and therefore more atypia, more mitoses, more uh, closer association with carcinoma. For example, in this field right here, we have one, two, three, four, five, maybe six mitoses. Uh, most uh, smart people will tell you that uh, villus adenomas uh, will all eventually turn into carcinomas unless you take them out. And certainly every surgeon that I know will tell you that as well. It has virtually a 100% cancer association rate with time. However, notice in this particular one, however, the muscularis mucosae appears to be intact, uh, even though it's kind of an ugly, shaggy looking tumor all throughout here. So this is not one that has infiltrated yet into the submucosal tissues. Thank you very much.